I need to give you a body of work so you can understand. Let me go to trap so he can teach me. Let me go to trap so I can understand. The reason why we can't effectively dominate the market is because we don't truly understand what's going on in the market. And we don't understand what's going on in the market. How can we function inside of the chaos? So let's say we in SMH and SMH owns 21.1% of, all right? And then let's say SOXL is 8.2%, right? So let's just say that. And then if you just own NVDA, you have 100%, all right? So watch this. This is how we're going to mitigate the risk. This is how we're going to mitigate the risk. So watch this. High 502.66. Current, what it is right now? 435. All right, so watch this. Let's talk about it. I'm glad we see this. This is an in-person, right? So we got the current and we got the high. Now watch this. So you minus $67, right? Now, watch this. So what happens is, here's what I do know. I know that most people, because NVIDIA was running the way it was running, a lot of people bought it right here. I know for a fact, because NVIDIA was running the way it was running, a lot of people got it right here. Right? So now when it came down to full something, you like, damn. Right? you like, damn. Do I buy more here? But most people, what they saying right here, cuz, I'm going to let it go a little lower. Most people say it's going to go a little lower. And you're not wrong, but you're letting it go a little lower. But look, watch this. Because you in SMH or because you in one of these, based on the exposure that it has, now you ain't, you ain't eat that whole $67. So because this down $67 as an individual stock, you're like, you know what, Trap? I'm down $67. But guess what? I'm going to buy it here, and now I might be only down, I don't know, 55. Right? I done brought my cost basis in. Right? I done switched my cost basis up now. But watch this. Because you own it here, watch this. You may not be down at all. Here's why. SOXL only got 8% of it. Depending on what the other three stocks are, or depending on, because it's, if it's got 8.2%, I know it's in the top three. Top three to five. So depending on what the other top ones are, watch this. If Google is at the top, Facebook at the top, you might don't even much be down. You feel me? So now, because SMH, if this 21%, I can tell you right now, it is probably down. But you ain't down as much as this is down because you got other, you got a 50 other stocks in there that's helping you out. So what you did was you bought this because you wanted 100%. You averaged down in here. You brought your cost basis down, but you ain't eat the whole L right here because in here you might own Apple, you might own Meta, you might own Google, you might own Intel, you might own uh, 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 Amazon, you might own AMD. So because you own that, now you're not as down as much. What you did was mitigate the risk but you still owned it, and then you balanced it off or hedged it by owning the ETF. Ooh. You feel me? Let me go a little further. So watch this. SMH, 21.1. SOXL, 8.2. BOTZ uh, is 14.9. NVD. A 100%. Watch what I'm about to do here, y'all. Watch what I'm about to do here. This is going to make it look sweet. Watch this. So what I don't want you to do is own NVIDIA, SMH. I don't want you to own NVIDIA, SMH, and QQQ. Why? Because now all we've done is You feel me? Now, because watch this. You know it's heavy in QQQ. 
If it's heavy in QQQ and heavy in SMH, you watch this. Because it's the tech sector ETF, and because this is the chip ETF, I can promise you AMD probably in here too. I can promise you broad AVGO probably in here too. You feel me? But because and, and because you on here, you got the same ones in here too at a different percentage rate, but they still in there. But now also you own SOXL. All we doing is we owning the same stocks in different rates. So let me make that make sense to you. And I'm just using this as an example. Right, so we're going to go SMH, we're going to go Q, 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 21.64%, right? Watch this, T, S, M, 10.25%, A, V, G, O, 5.48%, A, S, M, L, T, X, N, A, D, I, AMD. Watch this. 4%. 4%. 4%. 4%. Apple. Microsoft. NVIDIA. AVGO. So I just want to point two things out right quick. 3.16. 4.67. Now I'll just write this out. Tesla. Google. Adobe. Immediately, you just cross-pollinated right here. Now, of course you got D's in it, but watch this. Remember, this is technology itself. This is semiconductor. So watch this. Watch here. S, O, X, X. Let me lay it out for you. N, V, D, A. A, V, G, O. A, M. D, I, N, T, C, T, X, N, O, N, A, M, A, T, L, R, C, X, K, L, A, C. And also, that was right here, too. L, A, C, X was here, too. Now, watch this. NVIDIA, 9%. 8 8%, 6%, 6%, 5%, 5%, 4%, 4%, 4%. Y'all see what we did right here? Big Dog, up in there too. Texas Instrument up in there too. AMD up in there too. So then we come here, what we got? We here, we got here, we got here. Texas Instrument, we got here. AMAT, AMD. We good right there. You feel me? Okay, let's, let's do one more. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's there's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just a book club. Everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy, Wall Street Traveler. See you in the trap. All right, so look, now watch this. So because you got this one, right, you got the technology sector, but if you own SMH and you own SOXX, you practically own the same goddamn ETF. You feel me? If you own SMH, you own SOXX, you practically own the same ETF. Now watch this. This is 
I-G-M. Watch this. NVIDIA. Can you see it? NVIDIA. Watch this. Apple. M-S-F-T. Meta. Watch this. Google. A-N-C. A-V-G-O. A-D-O-B-E. C-S-C-O. C-R-M. So watch this. Now, look how this cross-pollinated. Watch this. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Apple. Apple. Microsoft. Microsoft. Meta. Google. A-N-C. Google. A-N-C. Adobe. Adobe. A-V-G-O. A-V-G-O. So now, if you own them, you damn near own the same thing. So what I want us to understand is, by law, if you own NVIDIA, I really just want you to own one of these. Because you basically, they're basically the same thing. And what we don't realize is, these just the top few big dogs. Once we get into the 1%, 0.8%, 0.5%, I can almost promise you all of them in there. They just, the only thing that separate them is this one on 21% and this one on 14% and this one on 9%. You feel me? So for me, I only want, and that goes with anything. Like even if you own Facebook, and I'd rather you own the individual, and if you go, oh, let me just get one to get the balance instead of buying, now you got three technology ETFs and the stocks. Yo, you got the same thing. So now when your portfolio moving a certain way, it's moving because they all move. This is why everybody who was in tech last year, their portfolio ain't win. Now, they probably got everything they wanted at a discount, and they killing it this year. But what happened was we still made money last year with the recession portfolio and bought more of them in the other portfolio. It's understanding that I ain't about to super load and nothing I got.